Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Borden. I hope you all had a great weekend. Today we're gonna to draw a duck. So this goes out to John Griffin in North Carolina. I hope you have fun drawing with me today. Let's look at all the different lines and shapes that we see. I see circles and ovals, rectangles, pointy lines, curves with points at the top. Let's get started. We're gonna start with the duck himself and his head. Okay, so we're gonna do like a letter C, almost like a circle, but not a full circle. We don't want it to be too small because this is our center point for our picture. So we're gonna start with a rainbow. And it's gonna come around, stop, like we said, the letter C, the back side. I'm gonna come down and in a little bit, just like that. The front side is going to come down and curve out, okay? The top of his wing, I'm gonna start inside his body, so I'm gonna start here. Come up, touch his neck, Come straight out and up. So for his wing, we're going to curve in, stop, out, stop, in, stop, out, stop, and back in. Okay? We're going to take this line, bring it over, up, stop. So this is the bottom of his wing. His tail is gonna come right out the back of his wing. So it's straight line out, up, back down, out, make it pointy, right back in. This is going to come down, urch, stop right there. We're not gonna connect it because I want him to be sitting in the water. Okay, we're gonna draw his beak. So his beak's gonna be up here. It's gonna start here, curve down and out. A little rainbow, line in. Again, a little rainbow, line into his face. And we're gonna put a little dash right there on the top. Okay, we're gonna draw a circle for his eye. And I'm gonna keep coloring this in until I have a little bit of a white spot left. I'm gonna take a curved line, touch, curve to the other side, and a little space, do it again. Touch, curve to the other side. Okay, so we're gonna make him sitting in the water. So I'm gonna start here, curve like a U, up, make it pointy, back down. Curve like a U, up, make it pointy, back down, U, point, U, point, and you do that till you hit the other side of the paper. I'm gonna do it here, U, point, U, point, U, point, U, point, again, till you get to the other side of the paper. I'm gonna give it some little squiggle lines down here. Okay, now I'm gonna give him some dashes on his belly. Dash, 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 dash and some lines on his wing. So just line, line like that. Okay, we're gonna do cat nine tail So we're gonna start with the greenery of the cat nine tail So it touches the water, grows out of the water, comes up, make it pointy, come right back down. Again, up, make it pointy, come right back down. In the middle here, I'm gonna put a long, tall, straight line. I'm gonna come over and right back down, almost like a tall rectangle. We're gonna put an oval on the top. Now, oval is like a circle, but it is longer and it's thinner, almost like an egg. I'm gonna put some dashes in here. Okay, and one more small greenery. All right, 
I'm gonna do the same thing over here because right now if I looked at my picture, it would be off balance. I'd have too many things here and not enough over here. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Curve, point, back down. Curve, point, back down. Tall line up, little line over, line down. Okay, oval at the top with his little dash at the top and little dashes inside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's up to you however else you wanna finish this. You have your duck, your cat and nine tails, and your water line. I think I'm gonna put a mountain back here up, urch, jump over, stop when I get to my duck, come over here, again, up, jump over, now I have something in the foreground. I have a nice background. I think I'll add some clouds. So it's rainbow, 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 and around with you, 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 you's and around. Again, rainbow, 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 you, 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 and around. And if you've ever drawn a bird that's far away, it looks like the letter um, V, but the edges, the lines are a little bit curvy. So those are probably his friends up there flying and waiting for him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a great time drawing our duck today. I hope you found that you could use basic lines and shapes to draw anything that you want. All right, we'll talk to you tomorrow and have a good day. Bye.